Hello, and welcome to Crossword Puzzle Maker. Today I'm going to walk you through how to create a puzzle quickly and easily with Crossword Puzzle Maker. In order to begin, simply create a trial account or sign up for the full software and log in. Once you log in, you'll have a new link, Create a Crossword Puzzle. Click on that link to come to this page. Once you're here, you can begin creating crossword puzzles. To start, I'm going to name my puzzle, simply test. I'm going to want to begin to add words, so I'm going to start with a Halloween theme and name my first word, skeleton, with a clue, all the bones in your body. When I add that word, I press enter, or I simply push the plus key. The puzzle updates immediately with the word skeleton. I realized I made a mistake, and I actually wanted it to be plural, skeletons. So I'm going to click on the word that was added, update it with the S, and click anywhere else on the page. At this point, the puzzle automatically updates with my changes. In the same way, I can modify any other word or clue simply by clicking on the clue or the word, making my changes, and then clicking somewhere else. From here, I want to check out what word categories already exist, and make words that have pre been previously added. I'm going to choose Holidays, and I see that the holiday word list appears. I have two options, Easter and Halloween, and I can go back and forth between them. Here I'm going to change my mind and make an Easter puzzle. I'm going to move this around so it's in the most convenient location where I can access every other thing on the page. I'm going to add a few Easter words into my puzzle. At this point, it doesn't really make sense to keep the skeleton's word. It no longer fits in my theme. So I'm going to click on this X over here to remove the word from the puzzle, and the puzzle will dynamically rebuild. At this point, my puzzle's done, and I'm ready to continue. If I don't like the way the puzzle looks, I can change it by clicking the shuffle button. This will generate a new puzzle each time. Once I have a puzzle that I like, I can save it and be done. So, since I found the puzzle I found I like, I'm going to rename it to Easter Puzzle, and click on Save. At this point, I can load the puzzle at any time in the future from this page, and I'll see all the list of puzzles that I've created in the past. Simply clicking on the name of a puzzle will bring up that puzzle. Now that I'm ready to print, I may want to hide some of these boxes to save ink, boxes that don't have any letters in them. That's what this hide show bo black boxes is for. I can hide all of these boxes and make printing a little bit more environmentally friendly. For now, I'm just going to leave them in. When I'm ready to print, I click on the print drop-down button and choose to print the puzzle, which will print it without any answers, or print the answer key, which includes the answers as shown here. Let's start by printing the puzzle. Now that the puzzle is shown, I can use my browser functionality to go ahead and print. So I choose print from the browser menu, and I get a print preview. From here I can print the page. If I want to print the answer key for easy grading, I click on print answer key. And it's going to show me the same thing, but with all the letters included, so that I can quickly have a copy that shows me all of the solutions. And that's all it takes to create a puzzle using Crossword Puzzle Maker. Have a great time creating your own puzzles.